So it's been few months since the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G was launched. It's 2021 and today we are going to talk about that how nice and relevant is Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra after all these months. But before we start, do not forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And you can also get in touch with me on my social media accounts by visiting the links given in the description below. So first of all, let's talk about the design. As expected, there is nothing going to change in the design, but still in 2021, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is one of the most beautiful Android smartphone available in the market. The screen to body ratio is huge, the bezels on the sides, bottom and the top are nearly negligible, providing a great viewing experience on a massive screen. The screen and the back is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus that is the most durable and scratch resistant Gorilla Glass. The build quality is super premium, the satin touch on the back panel feels so nice and the curved edges look very beautiful. The camera module is still massive, causing a huge bump on the back of the device. The camera module is so unique and iconic that even after a few months, people can easily recognize this device. And if you're planning to buy a uniquely shaped smartphone that stands out in the middle of the crowd, then Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is a nice option for you in 2021. The device is still pretty huge and using it with one single hand is kind of difficult but the good part is that it comes with one hand UI like most of the other smartphones that you can use on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G if you are not comfortable with the huge screen but still want to use this amazing piece of tech. So overall, in terms of design and build quality factor, both from front and the back side, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is pretty unique device after all these months in 2021. Talking about the display, we got a 6.9 inch WQHD plus dynamic AMOLED display that is gorgeous in every aspect. Because of the super tiny bezels, we get nearly 92% of screen to body ratio. The curved edges on the side looks beautiful, but now and then it causes the accidental touches and even after providing lots of software updates, the problem is not solved by Samsung till now. Of course, it is less compared to other curved edges smartphone by Samsung, but compared to other flagship smartphones from other brands, the amount of accidental touches is a bit more. Talking about the display quality, it is just gorgeous. The blacks are deep and provide a very nice viewing experience. And Samsung also provides lots of options that you can use to customize your viewing experience based on your preference on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But one big drawback here is that even though it is a flagship level smartphone that comes with a dynamic 120Hz display, you cannot use the highest possible resolution along with 120Hz. And another point to be noted is that the 120Hz refresh rate is not constant but it is adaptive. So it will keep changing time to time depending on how you are using the device. But if you want to use your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to get the best performance in terms of resolution, then you won't be able to use the 120Hz refresh rate on the device and you will be stuck with the 60Hz display. So this is one of the drawbacks of the display of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that you can either use the WQHD Plus resolution or the adaptive 120Hz refresh rate. This issue was still there in 2020 and it is still existing in 2021. The brightness of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is really high and it does not matter if you bring the device in outdoors on a bright sunny day, you will be still able to see everything without feeling any issue because of super high brightness and the high PPI that you get on this device. So in terms of display, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G got one of the most beautiful display available among all other flagship smartphones. The only drawback is that you can either use the high refresh rate or the maximum possible resolution and we got the issue of accidental touches now and then. Now talking about the software and the user experience part, the device is now upgraded to Android 11 and One UI 3.0 that brings some new feature some new enhancement in terms of user interface and the overall performance is increased a bit for sure. The user interface is way smoother compared to what we had earlier. 
and under the settings you will find lots and lots of options that you can use for a better user experience on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. The overall smoothness and the device performance is increased a lot compared to other Samsung Galaxy smartphones as well. It is still not that great if you compare it with other flagship smartphones from other brands. But if you are talking about the Samsung or the Note 20 Ultra particularly, then the performance is improved and the device is way smoother for sure. The always-on display on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is one of the best among all flagship smartphones and it provides lots of options that you can use to customize the always-on display on your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Talking about the overall performance, it is improved a lot as well, especially after the One UI 3.0 update. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G we got here is the Exynos version and the performance is flagship level in every aspect. You will not feel any issue, any lag in your day-to-day -day usage. Everything is nice and super smooth, no lagging of any kind, no issue while switching between the apps, running lots of application at the very same time. Thanks to 12GB RAM, the performance is super impressive and you can watch our detailed gaming review of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to get the better idea that how good is the overall performance of this device and you will be happy with the performance of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G for sure. And things get even better if you got the Snapdragon variant of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra especially when it comes to gaming. So even after a few months in terms of performance Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is still one of the best flagship smartphone. And when it comes to a stylus this is the one of the most highlighted feature of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So the best thing about the S Pen of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is the ultra low latency it got compared to previous version of Samsung Galaxy Note series smartphones. It comes with lots of new features and the performance is improved a lot in every possible way. So when the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G was launched, the S Pen on the device was one of the best and it is still the best among all other Samsung Galaxy Note series smartphones or any other smartphone that supports a stylus. So when it comes to productivity, stylus and its features, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is getting even better in 2021. So if you're planning to buy a smartphone with a stylus, then the S Pen of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the reason why you should go with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G in 2021. Now talking about the camera, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G was never the best and it is still not the best but it is among one of the best for sure. It comes with lots of features that you can use to take amazing pictures on your smartphone. It is among the very few smartphone that comes with 8K at 24fps video recording feature for pro level videography. The issue that we had with pictures being captured with a bit warmer tone is still existing as well. The overall camera performance is still one of the best and it will fulfill all your camera needs for sure. As I mentioned, it is not the best when it comes to either photography and videography, but the overall performance is still pretty solid in 2021 and flagship level in every aspect. The battery life of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is still not great in 2021. The battery life is slightly improved after lots of software upgrades but it's still not good enough as you can see here it's pretty low if you are a heavy user or a tech savvy guy who likes to turn on and use all of the smartphone features then the battery performance is not gonna be great on my personal usage you can see that the battery time i'm getting on 4g connectivity is less than three hours when the battery percentage is at 17 with wi-fi connectivity i get around maximum four and a half hours of screen on time on my samsung galaxy note 20 ultra 5g here the battery charging speed is also not that great and while other flagship smartphones from other brands are capable of charging the battery from 0% to 100% in just around 40 minutes on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G it takes nearly double of that time duration even though the battery capacity is not so huge it's 4500 mAh that's pretty average for the flagship smartphones we are getting in the market these days. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G comes with ultrasonic 
in display fingerprint sensor compared to the optical sensor on other flagship smartphones. The ultrasonic in display fingerprint sensor is slightly slower compared to the optical ones and it's the same story on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. In the beginning it was actually way slower compared to other flagship smartphones but after the recent software update it is improved a lot for sure but it is still not one of the best or fastest when it comes to unlocking speed. And talking about the pricing, the price of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is reduced a lot. So if you're planning to buy Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, so in 2021, this is the best time to get one for you. The price is nearly 20% less. And if you're not interested in buying the Samsung Galaxy S21 series the smartphone, then the next best thing is Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G for all Samsung lovers. So Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is still a pretty solid flagship smartphone in nearly every aspect in 2021. And with the reduced pricing, if you buy one, you will be happy with its overall performance and features for sure. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.